here we have a brand new smartwatch. Um, I don't know the model. I ordered this from AliExpress with my own money. This is supposed to be a laser therapy watch. I'm flashing up the model of this thing right up on your screen right now. So we do the unboxing here. Uh, we have the watch itself. We've got sort of a rectangular face. And I'm going to zoom in just a tad here. And then we have a watch band, which is a nice brown color. I lift up the box, and there is the charging cable and a user manual. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to charge this guy up and uh, I will come back with my full review in a few days. Let me press and hold the button here. This looks like a very familiar watch that begins with an eye. Oh boy, look at that. It's got juice in it, so it's got some battery. It's got a brain here. Oh my gosh, it's got a brain. It's got its own brain. So let me charge this thing up, wear it for several days, and come back with my full, fair, and honest review. So let's take a bit of a deep dive on this watch before we get into the app. You come to the main screen and you simply swipe from right to left and you have a laser treatment here. This is a red laser therapy smartwatch, also known as cold laser therapy. I'll flip it over and talk a little bit more about that in a moment. It will do your heart rate in beats per minute. It does your blood oxygen saturation or SpO2. It also takes your body temperature. Um, it will take your blood pressure. It will do your uh, uh, resting heart rate, your continuous heart rate. It's got a 1.7 inch full touch display. And these watches, now it's got a sports mode here, but this has not been working for me. I've been clicking on fitness in the gym and this thing just kind of times out on its own. So I wouldn't call this a fitness watch. If you watched my history making these reviews, you'll know it's very difficult to get a health watch and a sport watch all in the same watch. So I would put this smart watch in the category of a general health tracking device, and it does these things well, from body temp, blood oxygen, respiration rate, blood pressure, and the continuous heart rate. I like it. Now the button on the side, it does not, and when you roll it, it does nothing. It's just simply a push button. For messages, you simply swipe up. To get into other settings, you swipe down. I can adjust the brightness here, and you will see I had it on a rather dim setting. And uh, you can turn the watch off. Now this menu here is a little bit clunky. It's not as smooth as I would like it to be. Um, but it is okay. You see, it's just a little jumpy. It's just not that smooth, nice menu interface uh, that I would love to see in a smartwatch. Um, so let me take this guy off, and I'll show you this red light therapy, or cold laser therapy mode. And when you get into that mode, you press the button here, go to that mode, and it's going to shoot lasers at you. Now, when you do this on your own, don't ever, ever ever point this at your eyes or look into these lasers you will cause permanent vision damage uh, but this watch also has green diodes and red diodes plus the uh, red laser therapy lights now these are not terribly coherent lasers by coherent I mean you'll see the lines it draws here um, if this were a laser pointer, it's not going to put a fine dot like on 100 meters away. You see the, the spread pattern of that laser just, the, it goes away pretty quickly as I pull away from the surface area. So it's not terribly focused, which means it's not going to penetrate terribly deeply into the skin. But that's also a good thing, and it's not going to be focused on one point. So that could, uh, you know, cause damage or burn your skin. And I'm, I'm not going to speak to the merits of red laser light therapy. You can read that on your own. These manufacturers make claims about blood lipids, blood sugar, blood pressure benefits. Um, I personally don't believe any of that. I don't think these red light therapies do much of anything. However, I've done a lot of research on my own, and uh, there is some promise in red laser light therapy and, and red LED light therapy. Uh, there's some published literature for wound healing and some other things, but I don't believe 
uh, any health claims that come from cold laser therapy at this time. So, you know, do your own research, make your own opinion, but you can, um, you can uh, change the strength of the laser um, and you can uh, change the duration time. So if you only want a 90 second application, 120 second, 100, uh, oh boy, I can't read that, 180, or it looks like uh, 240 second, um, that's the amount of time that laser is, is shining into your arm. Uh, aside from that, it's, uh, you know, it's a nice interface. I love the display. Absolutely love it. And for a health watch, uh, I, this does almost everything I would ever ask a watch to do. It'll also pull in the weather from your smartphone. Let's go look at the app. And as I dim the studio lighting here to make this a little bit easier to see, this is the familiar Smart Health app. This has been used in several of my reviews before with other watches. I like the interface here. It will give you your step count for the day. Um, I think this is maybe a little bit light. Um, yesterday you'll see that you know I did a hike and it pulled in uh, settings from my phone, the mileage from my phone, the 6.478 miles uh, worth of a hike. Um, this is not a GPS watch, but if you have it paired uh, with your phone and you have location services uh, turned on, it will pull in that data, so I like that. So you get your step count, and you can scroll back through previous days. You get your blood pressure. I have it set up to take automatically every hour. Now, I think this is maybe a little bit low, but none of these smart watches are medical-grade um, blood pressure devices. So take all of these measurements with a grain of salt. You can do a blood pressure calibration to make this a little bit more accurate uh, based to uh, you know a, a doctor's or a medical grade uh, blood pressure measurement. But I believe the real strength in all of these devices for blood pressure is to use them in a relative sense. Track your blood pressure over time and then if you see it go up or you know significantly change from what you're used to seeing go see a doctor so use this in a relative sense um, it is not a medical grade device but i like having this access it's within the you know it's within a realm of possibility it's close to my actual number so um, i like that it gives you your continuous heart rate Again, I've got it set up to measure every hour on the hour and uh, beats per minute. I like that. Um, it does sleep tracking. I think it does it really well. It gives you a sleep quality score right at the very top. It gives you your sleep duration, your deep versus light sleep, very good sleep tracking, I would say. It gives you blood oxygen saturation. I like this measurement a lot. Um, this gives you an indication of how well you're utilizing the air you're breathing in. How well is your body taking in and utilizing the oxygen. The higher that number, the better, that, that percentage. The lower that number, that means you might have sort of a, uh, uh, you know, upper respiratory infection, something like that going on, um, or something else. You know, if that drops low enough, that's generally when you see people walking around with the supplemental oxygen. So, you know, I personally love that measurement, and it does it really, really well. It does your respiratory rate. That's your number of breaths per minute. Now, I tend to always be relatively low, and, um, you know, I'm a, an amateur kayak racer, amateur weekend warrior athlete. And I think it's my respiratory rate that somehow gives me some sort of a competitive advantage because it just seems that I can keep my breathing rate lower for a longer period of time than, than my, uh, my uh, fellow competitors. And I seem to be able to breathe through my nose through much more strenuous activity for a longer period of time uh, before I have to start breathing through my mouth than other people. So, I, you know, I don't know what it is about me. But I've always been able to, you know, control my breathing and keep my respiratory rate very low. So that all looks good. And this thing also measures body temp, which I love. I'm always about set 97.3, 97.5. It does this measurement automatically. I love this. I think it's that's pretty darn accurate. Um, you can go in your activity modes. I won't delve into this too much, but just let it be said, this is not a GPS watch. 
So if you want to keep track of you know your location on the map and whatnot, you need to pair it with your phone and have location services turned on. And then you can go into settings and you have your device status. I'm three days into this. Here you see it's model F100-199A. Battery life is still 66%. I consider that pretty darn good. Uh, really good battery life. It's got some different dials here that you can uh, customize. You know, I obviously have the one I like. Um, notifications, you can turn on various notifications for various apps. You can set an alarm. Here's your health monitoring. Again, I've got mine set to, to, to monitor every 60 minutes, every hour. You can do it as, as little as every 10 minutes. I just, you know, I think that's data overkill for me and it just, you know, drains battery life. You can set a temperature alarm, so if your body temperature goes above a certain point, it will vibrate and warn you. Heart rate alarm, same thing. If your heart rate goes too high, it will warn you. Wrist brightness, screen intensity, um, a lot of settings in here. You can set your number of steps goals, your sleep target, change your units from uh, centigrade to Fahrenheit. Uh, it's got WeChat movement. You know what? I don't do WeChat, but it's a way to bind it with WeChat. Um, you know, the kids seem to be digging that, so you yeah, have at it. But hey, as an app, I love it. I love the overall health tracking of this thing. It's a very, very, very good health monitoring uh, watch and a really clean, nice, intuitive app. Hey, in terms of a health tracking device, this guy is selling on AliExpress right now for $40 to $45. I think it's a great buy. Now, I bought this with my own money. I have no relationship with AliExpress. I hope to have an, uh, an affiliate relationship with them soon. I like to just buy these things from AliExpress because they seem to be cheapest there. And I don't mind waiting the six or seven weeks uh, for delivery from mainland China. Um, and hey, the only reason I'm able to do any of this is if you click that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, or go to my main website at DaveTheKayaker.com and make a donation. Everything I make there uh, in terms of smartwatch reviews, I invest back into this channel to buy more watches so I can remain independent and unbiased. And uh, go check out my smartwatch and fitness tracker review playlist on YouTube. And stay tuned. Hey, I've got a new smartwatch coming next, which will be a blood glucose monitoring watch. Um, it's a unique capability, so I can't wait to give this guy a try. And then next up after that is another cold laser, uh, red laser light therapy watch. Um, that one's going to be on deck next. And it, again, it's another watch with laser light therapy. And I got this because it seems to be an awful lot like my familiar E88 smartwatch that I've been wearing for about two months. It's become my new favorite. Uh, the only thing is it uh, does a lot of the health tracking but does not have the red laser light therapy. So I thought I'd get one with the red laser light therapy in it to give you something new. Hey, after these... Uh, I've got one, I've got the cheapest smartwatch on the internet coming after this. I think I paid less than $5 for it. And then uh, after that is a low-end GPS watch. And there's going to be more coming. So just subscribe, like this video, share this video, tell your friends. Um, and hey, just stay tuned. I appreciate you watching these videos. And, uh, you know, come join me at DaveTheKayaker.com. Until next time, stay healthy and stay fit.